Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on Custom Shop. So this is a fantastic plugin that you can download for free off of Spigot. So what does it do? Well, as the name would suggest, you can create your own shop. So by default, uh, if we click this sign here, you can see there is a lovely GUI shop. There are lots of different categories, and in each category there are various different items that you can buy. As you can see, some can be sold, some cannot. So if we go into farming, you can see if I buy 16 wheat for $560, um, and then go to the sell uh, sign you can pop it in here and you will sell it for an amount of money so um, you can change all of this in the config file it's highly configurable it's really easy to use um, and yeah it's a fantastic plugin so first of all the signs there are a couple signs <clears throat> unfortunately there isn't really much documentation on the spigot page I had to go into github and look at the code to work out what these signs were so um, hopefully the developer if he sees this can update the um, spigot page with more information about the signs and other stuff but uh, let's have a look so there is the the custom shop buy sign very straightforward um, just how you do other signs with square brackets at the top and obviously the sell sign as well custom shop uh, sell so these should be colored um, I looked at the code and um, it should have a nice format but I'm not sure why it doesn't so um, hopefully that can be fixed but um, yeah this is the shop you can also do forward slash shop if you're not near a sign and um, you can set each one of these categories to have a permission so let's just buy a few more things and just show you um, that it actually works. There's lots of things that you can buy here. And uh, obviously you can add and remove items depending on what your server is like. So if we pop all of this in here, um, you can see some items were not sold uh, as they are not sellable. So um, all of these brewing items cannot be sold. And presumably, no, these can't be sold either. So uh, yeah, that is how it works in-game. Pretty straightforward demonstration there. Um, so we are going to go into the config file now and see what we can change in there. So here we are in the custom shop folder and as you can see there are three YML files. The signs.yml, there's not much in here, it just saves the location of the signs that we created. If we go into the config.yml, not much in here either. We have the currency symbol, so you can change that to pounds, euros, uh, yen, or whatever currency you use. Um, and obviously a couple of permissions here. And the main part is the shops.yml. So this is the part that you will want to edit. So we have all of these different, um, different sections. So we have ores, food, farming, brewing. Each of these sections has a list of the items and the permission required to actually use it. So you could create a donated one if you really wanted to. And then we have the name of the GUI up at the top here. So if you want to change an item or add a new item, there's a specific way to do it. So the format is the item ID, um, which is 406 for quartz, the metadata. So if you have wood, you can have different types of wood or log, uh, which is really cool. The amount um, that you will be buying, the price you will be buying at, and then the amount you'll be selling and the price you'll be selling at. So if you don't want to buy or sell a specific item, you put a hyphen um, in place. So if we scroll down a bit, you can see that for brewing, we saw this in game, you can't actually sell any of it. So that's why there are lots of hyphens um, where the selling price should be. So it's pretty straightforward. You can obviously remove items you don't want or add items you do want. Um, but yeah, it's a really cool plugin. It's free to download and uh, it's highly configurable with all the prices and the amounts and all that good stuff. So I would definitely recommend it. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.